Welcome back ladies and gents to a subject I haven't really talked about on this channel, music. Now like everyone, music is important to me, but for me it's mainly because my dad played music 24-7 at my house, so I've kind of listened to it for a solid chunk of my life. And well, this led, led me into listening to music pretty much everywhere. But that's not what I want to talk about today. No, I want to talk about my weird ass taste in music. So I kind of like everything besides country. That is the one genre of music I get sick of so fast. But my playlist is still very weird. I have some video game bops, some rap, some rock, and some anime openings, and pretty much everything else. But probably the weirdest two bands I frequently listen to is Starbomb and Ninja Sex Party. If you don't know who or what these are, it comes down to both are comedy bands. However, Ninja Sex Party is usually more about sex jokes, like their song 6969, while Starbombs makes fucked up video game songs, like Mega Man's Bed Problems or the one with a drugged out tails in it. And yes, these technically have the same band members, however the NSP is just Danny Sexbang and Ninja Brian, while Starbomb is those guys in Ego Raptor. While there are a lot more differences, I can say the main thing I want to talk about is NSP, and why they stand out across other comedy musicians. Well, besides Starbomb, but that's special, so without further ado, let's get into it. So, let's look at the first of the big comedy musicians, and yes, there's a lot more of them, but these are the ones I'm going with, so tell me in the comments if I missed one or anything else. Okay, so we have The Lonely Island, Tenacious Z, Flight of the Concords, and Bo Burnham. And all of these groups slash people made some fantastic songs, like Tribute, I Just Had Sex, and New Math. However, Flight of the Concords focus more on a TV show with skits in it that uses their music. Also, yes, Nation Z did have a full length of the movie, but it still really isn't the same as what the Flight of the Concords did. It wasn't even their main thing. And hell, even NSP tried a skit series, which everyone should go watch, where the music is involved, but it's not the only thing there. However, all of these have music in common. So why is NSP so different? Well, in my opinion, it's simply because of the music. And since that doesn't make sense, I'm gonna explain it real fast. Everyone basically made a joke into a song, like Chronicles of Narnia. That can really be said in 30 seconds. Like, I love rap music, but what if some big gangsters started rapping about cupcakes? In both versions, the joke is the same, but obviously the song span expands about it and so on and so on. Bo Burnham is a weird case just because his songs well, he sings them in a stand-up routine, so all his stuff mixes stand-up and music. In my opinion though, his most interesting songs are the ones that not, aren't even funny and the ones that's about him growing up in his life. I will argue that these are some of his best songs, but obviously not his funniest, but to each their own. Anyway, let's get into the big band themselves, Ninja Sex Body. And Honestly, it's a way they make the music. Not only is it funny, but it's good. Especially their newest songs. I know a lot of people might not agree with me, but it feels like whenever I listen to Ninja Sex Party, I'm jamming out and enjoying everything, the humor and the music. However, when I listen to Lonely Island, I just kind of want to hear a joke. Like when someone gives me the aux cord, if I put on Lonely Island, it's more to be like, haha, then hey, here's a song I actually like. I wouldn't put a Flight of the Concord song on my playlist, but I will and have put a lot of NSP songs over it. The other big thing with NSP is I feel like their music is kind of a story. Some more than others, but like even eating food in the shower has a start, a mid, and a climax of, well, everything going wrong. This is really small, but it makes everything just feel right. Take my favorite song as an example, Cool Patrol. It's about a bunch of, well, people trying to make a nerd tough, but fail by giving him the wrong advice. Well, that may not be the greatest thing ever, by the way they use it, it just works. And the song slaps, so, you know, go do listen to it. Basically, NSP is set apart by not only their ability to make a good joke, but more importantly, make a good song, and maybe tell a story along the way. It also doesn't hurt that it kind of follows the adventures of two dudes who are pretty much the same people throughout everything. From the first song, it was Ninja Brian and Danny Sexpang, and to the last song, it will be Ninja Brian and Danny Sexpang. And it just adds to the music and makes it 
it makes me excited to see their next stuff. Anyway, that's all I have, and I hope you guys like this video. I did want to say that I do like all the bands I listed. I just had this idea and ran with it to talk about NSP. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!